Now that we've talked about the conceptual foundations for barrier synchronization, and I've outlined some of the types of mechanisms that Java provides to support barrier synchronizers, we can start diving into the Java countdown latch, looking first at its structure and functionality. Java's countdown latch class implements one of several Java barrier synchronizers. This synchronizer allows one or more threads to wait for a set of operations being performed in other threads to complete. It's most suited for fixed size, one-shot, entry, and exit barriers. It does not implement any interface, it just defines the class itself. Internally, the Java countdown latch applies a variant of the bridge pattern, which as always decouples the abstraction from the implementation hierarchy so the two can vary independently. As you'll see, the countdown latch doesn't use the full-blown implementer hierarchy that we've used in some of the other Java synchronizers, such as Java reentrant lock, Java semaphore, and Java reentrant read-write lock. It does, however, use the sync implementer hierarchy to handle the locking that it does need. As always, it inherits functionality from the abstract queued synchronizer class. However, in the countdown latch, there's no distinction made between fair versus non-fair semantics. The abstract queued synchronizer is used to represent the count instead. That's the end of the overview of the structure and functionality of the countdown latch. Next, we'll talk about its methods and example applications.